Mind if I start it in here? Is that cool? Let it warm up for just a sec. <laughs> MT10 is officially mine. <laughs> it's Thursday, February 29th at uh, 8.43 a.m. My brother's on the way to pick me up. Heading to Curva to pick up my brand new 2023 Yamaha MT10. So I've got all my helmet, gear, cameras, gloves, all that. I'm fixing to put on my jacket right over there too. And then we'll get going. Oh, man, just fucking <laughs> fucking oh, there she is. Good morning. I did earlier. <laughs> good. <laughs> so I have good news. Warranty wouldn't cover it. That's 53 bucks, so we're just gonna get you another one. You're the fucking man. Alright, dude. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for all the help. I will, man. Thank you. Alright boys and girls, I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to finally have not just a leader bike, but a naked leader bike like this, you know. I almost bought an R1, uh, I decided to get an MT10, R1 is overall faster obviously and I did a ton of research on it. This is still the CP4 motor, the gearing is a little shorter to accommodate more torque. Um, ooh. Oh man. I just like the styling of this. And again, I know it's slower, but on the bottom end, the torque, the fact that it has just slightly more, you know, uh, usable for the normal type of riding, it was perfect. And like I said, the styling of it and all, I just think these look sick. And they're kind of a sleeper, you know, the R1 obviously looks like a monster, and it is this. I can still tear through it without it being as uh, as assuming, I guess you could say. Wheelie control, I have to eventually turn that off. Cool, that's, you know, khaki gray color or whatever they call this. It's just, the only problem right now is it's so quiet, but when my Acropovic comes in, that should help with that a little bit. But leader bikes are us. I gotta take it easy, of course. First 600 miles is gonna be tough, but woo doggy. To be fair, I did when I bought my tracer. Um, I took it from uh, you know Surprise, Arizona, which is northwest of Phoenix. Rode it all the way home, somewhat spirited, of course, you know, and uh, did my best to not use one speed or one rpm range of course varied it quite a bit and all but it was uh i made it oh and i went over the 600 mile motors are fucking bulletproof now right that mt or that uh tracer 9 gt i've got over four i just rolled over that 14,000 miles on it there for my last trip absolutely zero issues with it other than the chain now needed to be replaced of course but man alive was that crazy Ooh, that wind is a brutal, my friends. Uh, I'm gonna go to my dad's office, surprise him. Just, you know, see, say hi. I hate traffic, but giving me a split second to not get beat to death by the air is not terrible. I'm also considering just poking around these guys, but what would be worse is getting a flat tire on my brand new bike. Well, I'm glad I started recording for this. Oh, come on, people. Well, that was annoying. I do not miss driving to work on this all the time.
Hello, truck. Goodbye, bitch. Whoa, whoa. My fault, my fault. Mm, it is cold as hell. Woo doggy doggy, my fingers are so fucking cold. I yeah, I'm definitely have to get a slightly bigger windshield. I mean, I do like the low profile. I won't. I don't want to get you know a big one. It's not a touring bike, but I did see one online on Revzilla last night. Uh, that's sport, but it's just a little bit bigger. That might help for just you know spirited riding. Mainly just because like uh, even at 60, like right now it's not bad at 52, but it's I'm feeling it. Like even at 60 though, which is nothing, right? If I want to get on this and go twisties and all. It's a lot of wind. I don't know. We'll see. It could be also that today, with this garbage-ass weather I'm dealing with, apparently there's a bunch of ice storms and stuff up uh, north, you know, Panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma and all that, and some uh, tornadoes or something else going on up there, so. Anyway. My gas light's already on. <laughs> How fucking far have I gone? Like 70 miles? Ooh, okay, here's a green, here's a green. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's so weird not coming in here all every day for work. Let's see if my dad's car is over here first. Yep, there it is. So they said salt grass, they're gonna walk over there. And so I'm gonna sneak up on them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back this bitch up here. And as soon as I see that they're walking, I'm gonna just ride on up there. Give them the old surprise attack, if you know what I mean. Man, I'm cold. Here it comes. Here we go, here we go. Here it goes, boys. I'll meet you over there, man. <laughs> so you know what? You just want to brag. Destination? I was there. Like, I bought it yesterday. At destination at or at, destination. at Alamo Cycleplex? I was out there to renew my life. All right. So just got done having lunch with my dad and my old team. They're walking back to the office there. They were nice enough to come out to salt grass real quick. Let me warm up for a few minutes. It is so cold. I say that it's not that cold, but after I got cold, and since obviously I'm not wearing any real warm gear, I stayed cold. So my body, like I'm already shaking a little bit again here. And um, yeah, so, but a kid cast because I'm already out <laughs> which is comical I can't wait to get the exhaust on this puppy too okay 
there we go head home and then uh, show some of the stuff I've already ordered for this beast of a machine My god, this bike is just, like, incredibly powerful. Anyway, so this bike has been phenomenal for the, uh, I don't know, 50, 60, 70, what, how many miles I've ridden it. I love it. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, that's definitely a weird, annoying spot. Shout out to my younger brother for last minute taking me out to uh, pick this bad boy up and for driving my car and my dog back home. Hello baby girl. Let's go. Already made room for her right here. Hello little doggy. Come here. That's a good little doggy. That's a good little doggy. Oh. Damn, she fine, boys. Damn, she fine. She fine. Oh, she's a fine little doggy. All right, well, there she is, parked right next to her, her older sister. Older, slightly slower sister, if you know what I mean. God, that's a nice bike. Well, time to start working on some upgrades. I love you. Just got a text saying one of my orders has been delivered. Not even sure which one, but 